Hello friends, welcome to Ansys Tutor. In this video, we are going to see how you could add Bayesian number in Ansys Fluent. So what is Bayesian number? It is a, in field of thermodynamics, Bayesian number is the ratio of heat transfer reversibility to total irreversibility due to heat transfer and fluid friction. If Bayesian number is nearly equal to 1, then it means thermal effect dominates that is in, in case of hot and cold walls whereas Bayesian number 0 signifies friction dominates there is also another definition of Bayesian number in terms of heat transfer and mass transfer in this context Bayesian number is the dimensionless pressure drop along a channel of length L in the current case of ANSYS Fluent, we are going to see how you could find the Bayesian number in terms of thermodynamics perspective. So we are going to find out the Bayesian number using custom field functions. So let's see how you could find this. We are going to add this using a custom field function. By this we need to Go to user defined then customs select the field functions but generally the field function that we require for the vision number is not available here so you need to turn it on using the expert option for this we need to go to the text user interface we will see how you could do this but first we need to run the simulation first I have taken a case of lead driven flow case. I am putting here number of iterations and running this calculation. After the calculation process completes, I will show you how the how to add this custom field function to see the results for Bayesian number. After calculation gets complete. We need to go to the console. Here you need to add text user interface command that is solve slash set slash expert. Then hit enter. Then hit enter again. In this step, keep temporary solver memory from being freed to yes. Then all these options are to no. Then press enter. Now after doing this, we can get this temperature gradient option which was not present previously. After turning on this, we need to run the simulation for certain iteration again. Now again go to user defined. Select custom field function. We are going to create custom field function for the entropy generation contributed by heat transfer. We are putting this thermal conductivity. Select the properties in field function and thermal conductivity as this property. Click on select. Now use the multiplier. Now put the another bracket over here. Now go to derivatives. Select the dt dx option over here. This option was not available previously. Now it is added. After turning on the expert option. put the bracket as it is a 2d case so we are adding only dt by dx dt by dy now 
Now close this bracket. Now divide the temperature square of temperature to it. Now name this function as S gen thermal. Entropy generation due to thermal effect. Click on define. Here you can the manage option you can see it is added. Now clear this one. Now put another function that is entropy generated due to viscous effect. This is the formula for viscous effect. Entropy generation due to viscous effect. Now select molecular viscosity. As the properties. Then go to derivatives and select strain rate. Let's square. Put the bracket close. And name this function. Nine two. One by T, that is temperature. Now name this function as S gen viscous. Click on define, then close. Now clear this one. Now put another function, that is for B gen number. Now we are we are going to put this first function as this nominator. It's in thermal then divided by it's in thermal plus it's in viscous. Now put the bracket close. Name it as vision number. Click on define. Here you can see all these three functions has been generated. Now close this one. Now we are going to see how this. To apply this custom field function, first let's try with the contour image. For this, go to results. Select graphics, contours. Here in the Place of contours of custom field function and select region number. Then click on save display. This is the contour of this region number distribution in this flow domain. Now we are going to create a line over which we are going to see the region number variation. For this, go to XY plot. Along the plot direction of x, select new surface, create a line. Now put the x as zero to one. 
then y was 0 0.5 to 0 0.5 then create this is a middle line at this center of this one is one cross one domain select this line we are going to plot the custom field function of bjn number over this along the x direction now here this is the variation along the x bjn number variation over the length x can also save this image. Now we are going to find out this total volume average of PJ number in this flow domain. Select custom field function over here. Select surface body and click on compute. Now here the net value of this PJ number can be seen over here on this surface body. Rigid 0 0.99. Click on close. With this, let's conclude this demonstration. Hope you have liked this video. Thank you.